Welcome back to Syracuse Math Kitties. In today's video, I am just going to continue from what we started on Tuesday. This week, we have broken down the work that you have in your Spectrum Math Packet and on Canvas for the online learning portion. So I understand that for students that have not been keeping up with their schoolwork, specifically with their math work, right now it might appear like there is a mountain of work. But I want to show you that if you follow my instructional videos and you do what I'm asking you to do, that you will be able to catch up in no time. As a matter of fact, in today's video, I'm actually going to walk you through completing one of these assignments. And you will see that it actually does not take a long time. So again, in the first video this week, I had asked you to do two pages from your Spectrum Math Packet, and you were supposed to take pictures of the completed work and email them to Miss Perina or myself or text message them. So at this point, you should have completed two pages. There's 10 pages in Spectrum Math Packet. Two pages should already be out of the way. We should have received some of your work in text message or email. The second portion that you should have done by now is three Khan Academy videos and three discussions, specifically Khan Academy video one, two, and three, and discussions one, two, and three. So today we're gonna continue. We're gonna do Khan Academy videos four, five, and six, and discussions four, five, and six. I'm actually going to walk you through, I'm gonna complete Khan Academy video number four and discussion number four, just to show you that it does not actually take a very long time. And then in a separate video, I am going to demonstrate how to do one of the problems on page three of Spectrum Math Packet. All right, so let's go over to our Canvas. Here, after you've logged into Clever, you should have your Canvas app at the very top. If you don't, just scroll down and you should find it under um, Instant Login Applications right here, and you can heart the specific app so that it stays on the very top. But anyways, let's click on Canvas. All right, let's get into our Math 8 for right now. All right, so as you can see here, if we go under Assignments, if you haven't been keeping up with your work, which some of you haven't. I've noticed that some of you are logging in to Canvas. That is not enough. It is not enough to be just logging in. It is not enough to just watch the Khan Academy videos. We need evidence that you actually learned something or that you actually watched the video. So you need to take notes on those videos and email them to us or text message them to us. So as you can see, if you haven't been keeping up with your schoolwork, specifically your math work. It looks kind of like a mountain right now, all right? There's many assignments, but if you have followed my instructions in the video one this week, which I posted on Tuesday, and I've titled it Catch Up, you should have had completed this section of your assignments. Khan Academy video one, two, and three, and the accompanying discussions one, two, and three. So that would have been what? 10 points, 20 points, that's 30, and then here another 30, that's 60, and another 30, that's 90 points. So that would have been a good chunk of your work. That's like a third of your work for the online learning portion. And if you had completed the two pages, of your Spectrum Math Packet, then that would have been two out of 10 pages completed. All right, I am going to go ahead and complete Khan Academy video number four assignment. And again, what is this assignment? Well, you have to watch the video, which is only a minute and 16 seconds long. 
and then you're supposed to take notes on that video and email that to us or take a picture of the notes that you made on your you know, sheet of paper and then text message or email those to us all right so it is not enough just to watch it you need to write down notes each of these Khan Academy videos are very short just like this one some of them might be like three minutes long maybe four minutes five but that's it they're very short videos and they are designed to just give you small bits of information so again in this video we're going to chunk up the mountain of work that you have piled up by now if you haven't been keeping up with your schoolwork but i promise you if you follow these two videos and you do small portions each week you will be able to catch up all right so without further ado let's go ahead and watch this video together again when you're watching the videos pay attention before starting the video look at the title estimating line of best fit exercise so the the, the speaker is going to be talking about lines of best fit all right so your notes will be something about that so let's go ahead and play that find the line of best fit or mark that there is no linear correlation so let's see we have a bunch of data points and we want to find a line that at least shows the trend in the data and this one seems a little difficult because if we ignore these three points down here maybe we could do a line that looks something like this it seems like it kind of approximates this trend although it doesn't seem like a great trend and if we ignore these two points right over here we could do something like maybe something like that but we can't just ignore points like that so i would say that there's actually no good line of best fit here so let me check my answer let's try a couple more of these find the line of best fit. well this is this feels very similar it really feels like there's no i mean i could do that but then i'm ignoring these two points i could do something like that but then i'd be ignoring these points so I'd also say no good best fit line exists. So let's try one more. So here, it looks like there's very clearly this trend, and I could try to fit it a little bit better than it's fit right now. So it feels like something like that fits this trend line quite, quite well. I could maybe drop this down a little bit, something like that. Let's check my answer. A good best, line, a good best fit line exists. Let me check my answer. and got it right. All right, so there you go, that's one video. Now we're gonna do notes. You could have written notes on piece of paper or you could have just emailed it directly to us. I'm gonna go for the email version, email option. Okay, you're gonna click on e inbox right here and then go to this little box up here that says compose a new message. Click on it, select your course right now. Type your teacher's name. Okay, I'm gonna just email this to myself. And in the subject line, let's put notes Khan Academy video number four. All right, this is important part right here. You can just start writing on a piece of paper or in an email and not tell us which video it's for. Okay, this is something I've been seeing. You guys send a picture but it's a very it, it takes some investigative work for Ms. Perino and myself to figure out uh, which video those notes are for so you need to label your email or your notes all right so Khan Academy video number four so you don't have to make like a long paragraph or anything just a few points from the video so let's say a uh, line of best fit is impacted by outliers outliers make it difficult to construct a good line of best fit all right the line of best fit represents a pattern in our data points there you go that is one your notes might be different your notes can include a question about something in the video that you might have not understood well or maybe you want additional information you want follow up on something from the video it could be 
an observation about something that you already knew or something that you just learned from the video, anything. Um, notes are just very individual to you. Click send. There you go. Done. All right. So next step, what do we have to do? Remember, you're supposed to watch each of the Khan Academy videos. After you watch one Khan Academy video four, you email a picture of your notes or you type those notes directly in email. Step two, you got to do discussion number four. So do them in this way. Video four, discussion four. Video five, discussion five, and so on and so forth. So next step, we need to do discussion five. So I'm going to go back to my courses, Rhino, and I'm going to click on discussions, and I'm going to find discussion five. All right, so let's read that discussion number four. I'm sorry, I meant to say discussion number four, estimating line of best fit. There are three questions on here. After viewing Khan Academy video four, please respond to the discussion by answering the following questions. Question one, what is a line of best fit? Describe it. Question two, do you think that having outliers in a scatter plot could affect the line of best fit? And question three, if there is a negative linear relationship, will the line of best fit have a negative or a positive slope? So what I like to do, you certainly don't have to do it this way, but I like to stay organized. I'm going to select this and copy it so that I can copy it or paste it in my answer. So there's the assignment. I'm going to click reply. And then I'm going to actually paste those questions in my reply so that I can be more neat and organized in my responses. You don't have to do this. If you don't do the copy and paste portion of it, uh, just make sure that you at least label, you know, and say like answer one so that we know which answer you're, which question you're answering. Don't just start typing, give us three sentences and we don't know which sentence you're responding to. So you know, need, you need to give complete answers. All right, so what is a line of best fit? Describe it. Line of best fit is a line that shows a pattern or a relationship, relationship between our two variables or a pattern in our data okay shows a relationship line that shows a relationship between our two variables or a pattern in our data there you go question one answered question two answer two do you think that having outliers in a scatter plot could affect the line of best fit? If you remember from the video, most definitely outliers will affect the line of best fit because they make it difficult to construct a line that will be close to all of the points. You end up basically ignoring some of the points, which is a no-no. All right, so do, do I think that having outliers? Yes outliers will impact the line of best fit okay there you go that's good answer to question two question three answer three all right if there is a negative linear relationship will the line of best fit have a negative or a positive slope well if there is a negative linear relationship the line of best fit will have a negative slope there you go that's it that is another 20 points i've posted it i'm actually going to delete this so that this student doesn't get 20 points for the work that they didn't do so i'm going to delete it you're not obviously going to do this, but there you go. We did notes for video for Khan Academy video four 
and we posted a comment um, in the discussion number four, and that's 30 points right there. It took me maybe five, seven minutes to do one of those, and you have three. So that is what? Five minutes, fi around 15, 20 minutes to complete all three Khan Academy videos, four, five, and six, and to do, to, you know, to email the notes and to post something in the discussions. So that is, you know, tops half an hour and you have 90 points in, you have about a third or, yeah, a little bit less than a third of your work done. No, actually a third of your work done in math. So half an hour, you can actually do this. It's very doable. If, if you're still having a hard time with it, because this is some of this is new information to you, please reach out to Ms. Perino and myself. We are here to help you. We want you to succeed. We want you to stay on top of your math work. If you have fallen behind, reach out to us. We can get on the phone with you on a Zoom call, on just a regular video chat, or just regular phone call, or even chat on you know WhatsApp, whatever you prefer, and we can walk you through all of these so that you can catch up. Please reach out to us. We do have module four that's coming up, so that's more work coming to you. So we really don't want you to get overwhelmed. We want to help you so that you can be successful. Don't hesitate to reach out. All right, Syracuse Math Kitties, that's it for today. Please take care of yourself. Stay tuned on our YouTube page, Syracuse Math Kitty. I'll be posting more videos. I'm going to do actually one um, where I show you how to do a problem on page three of your Spectrum Math Packet. All right, take care.